I'm looking forward to talking to you a little bit about the commitment that was made today by the Gates Foundation, $80 million toward closing the gender data gap. Uh, so I want to hear first a little bit about UN Women's involvement and, and what that will look like uh, as part of this $80 million investment. You know, just to give you a background, UN Women's uh, flagship program, essentially, it's called a flagship program on gender statistics, okay. making women and girls count. It aims to uh, do three things. One is uh, uh, make sure that at the policy level, so this is really the policy environment, we make sure that we have, countries have the right tools to integrate gender properly into their national uh, statistics strategies and, uh, and so on, and make sure that also as we, countries start implementing the sustainable development goals, they develop plans that enable them to domesticate those goals and when they do to make sure that gender gender is really in, integrated in that. So that's the first aspect which is the policy environment. Then we move into data collection where we help countries produce data based on the sustainable development goals indicators that were just recently agreed. And finally the third aspect is really around data use and uh, data availability and use. So uh, we are really excited to see this commitment come to come to come to fore because uh, will give us enough resources to do what we do, but do it better and do it at scale. What's an example right now of a complete gap in, in gender data? What, what would this allow you to finally look into or start data collection on that, that there is almost nothing on right now? Um, just uh, 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 drawing on uh, sustainable development goals. Just uh, picking one yeah. example. The first indicator in goal five, sure. eliminating all forms of discrimination. We do not know how to measure it yet. Okay. We're starting from scratch. Uh, women's representation in, uh, in local governments. We also do not know how to measure that. Um, gender responsive budgeting. How much is spent on uh, projects that are uh, addressing gender equality? It's a very basic question. No idea. So I think, and these are, there are examples. And uh, if you look at 80% of indicators in, uh, in goal five, we do not know, we do not have adequate data yet. So and these are the types of things that this, this commitment will change? Uh, we hope so. So, uh, you know, but uh, just to say that, you know, what it, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's really uh, catalyzing other, others to come on board. Right. And we need that. So the, uh, the work on gender data will not be easy. And Melinda said that this morning. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be fast. It will require patience. It will require perseverance, but we also we, we need other players to come on board so that we are a constellation of players that can really take this. Yeah, so it's almost this commitment being made is, is a sign that this is important and this is something that others should also be it's a It's an unmistakable sign mm. that this is important.